नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू योर ऑन चैनल ए सी एस ट्रो एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट डेब्लिटेशन ऑफ मर्करी विच इज हैपनिंग ऑन सेवेंथ ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेनेट इवन एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स से दैट दिस प्लेनेट इज अनकंट्रोलेबल नाउ हाउ इट विल इम्पैक्ट ऑल ट्वेल्व साइंस ऑल ट्वेल्व असेंडेंट लेट्स वेलकम आकाश चौहान जी फ्रॉम कैलकरी कैनेडा आकाश जी नमस्कार राम राम नमस्कार रोहित जी राम राम Uh, mercury is going debilitated, and whenever mercury goes debilitated, number one thing that is mercury rules is communication. So communication has to be in the precise order during this time, or maybe no. So here mercury transits in Pisces from seventh of March twenty twenty four till twenty sixth of March twenty twenty four. Okay, seventh March to twenty sixth March, and then it will go into Aries. Then you will again get retrograde and come back into uh, uh, Pisces. So. the there is a lot of fun that is going to happen by the way now especially those who are going through mercury dasha and antar dasha uh, it is a little bit of cautious more caution to you mercury dasha antar dasha pratyantar dasha caution okay these are the thing these are the people who are going through these dashas has to be little bit more uh, uh, what you say uh, more effective more focused they will be more affected okay. now rohit ji mercury and are the usp of our channel is stories and now we'll talk about what happens to mercury in pisces why it becomes debilitated mm. so in the ancient and mystical lands of bharat where celestial bodies were revered as divine entities there was a unique tale that unfolded in the cosmic realm involving buddha and brahaspati and our beloved lord ganesha why lord ganesha is the to go when mercury is in trouble mercury gives you any kind of trouble because lord ganesha and mercury play a very big celestial role in each other's life no one would tell you all this no one must even not even know about all this this story is deeply rooted in vedic astrology illustrates the complex relationship between planets and their deities often profound insights into celestial influence on human lives now mercury is known for sharp intellect and very swift communication it's a very fast planet have you seen how fast it moves and it gets retrograde almost 3 to 4 times a year now when it found itself into this watery and expansive sign of pisces ruled by his step father jupiter jupiter is not the real father according to lot of vedic realms or vedic ors it says that jupiter is not the real father of mercury moon is the real father of mercury and that's why mercury also has the habit of moving fast because moon see how fast it moves 27 days 28 days completes one cycle so that is why mercury has inherited that quality from his real father moon the placement was seen as mercury's debilitation for the boundless and the deep waters of pisces now it has entered into pisces which is a very fast kind of a planet it is swimming 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 where will it go there is no shore because it is completely vast that is why mercury here you know mercury's precise and analytical nature was overwhelmed like a swift messenger trying to navigate through endless ocean how much you will do this is that movie there is a movie called life of a pi you know this guy he he takes one a uh, ship and then he falls and then he's in the ship in the ocean does not know where to go now there is no land that is what happened with mercury here now jupiter the guru of the gods was a benevolent and wise ruler of pisces he embodied wisdom expansion and spiritual growth qualities that were somewhere foreign to the young and agile mercury mercury did not know that oh we have to be patient also in some places mercury said no i have to always be swift and jupiter is the planet of patience jupiter says relax take a deep breath and mercury like no i just want to do it now deep breath and impulsiveness this is what these both planets represent now here mercury who thrived on logic information and quick exchanges in pisces mercury skills were muted he said that i cannot do anything his sharp wit was clear, clearly dissolved and vastness of jupiter's domain leading to misunderstanding the sense of being lost in that ocean he was just a drop mercury now here happens the whole magic observing this celestial dilemma lord ganesha the remover of obstacles now where was mercury mercury was into obstacle decided to intervene 
known for his wisdom intellect and ability to remove any hurdles lord ganesha saw a valuable lesson in mercury struggle he approached mercury with a compassionate smile holding his broken tusk as a pen a symbol of sacrifice and wisdom gazed through overcome adversity just imagine such beautiful uh, you know message from the universe he took you told me this is the pen man this is about knowledge this broken tusk does not mean that i was harmed physically this was means that this gave me a very big knowledge what i should do and what i should not same way you are in a situation you are broken right now does not mean that you do not get to the right place it is just that direction you need Lord Ganesha explained Mercury that every debilitation was an opportunity for growth, and that true wisdom lay in embracing one's weakness and learning from them. Unless and until you are weak, how will you become strong? Right? He advised advised Mercury to slow down and absorb the lesson of Pisces, empathy, intuition, and the understanding of interconnectedness of all things. Because see, Pisces is the sign. when you go into a deep ocean into darkness and don't know what's next that is why it is called the ending the end it pisces is the end of this in lal kitab pisces is called the ocean that does not have a bottom the ocean that is bottomless ocean 12th house in lal kitab this is 12th house and the last area 12th that's why i refer to lal kitab because they use only kal purush kundli mm-hmm. now this uh by doing so mercury could enhance his communication skills even in bad situation not through swift exchanges but through meaningful connections that touches the soul on soul level to aid mercury in his journey through the emotional depths of pisces lord ganesha imparted to him a very unique mantra na we say you know all the people all the sages did om namah shivaya om namah shivaya they were very close to shiva the om namah shivaya then shiva used to appear in front of them but that shiva who appeared was always to give a boon so unless and until you want to boon you will have to manifest or you know get that god in front of you in that form of energy to give get a boon so for getting a boon he gave mercury this mantra lord ganesha imparted him with unique mantra sacred vibration that would allow mercury to harness his debilitated state for greater wisdom and connectivity with lord ganesha that means he and ganesha should become one om vakra tundaya ham this was that mantra om vakra tundaya ham vakra tundaya means one who has just one tusk the mantra was a beacon of light in the dark waters it gave mercury a purpose guiding mercury to navigate his challenges with grace and insight he said that this is the mantra that i want to do right now and make sure that i find lord ganesh in that rupa that he will give me the boon furthermore the mantra would help mercury to transform his perceived weakness into strengths enabling him to communicate with empathy and depth connecting on a soul level with all beings it was a reminder that true wisdom and understanding comes from embracing and transcending one's limits not by avoiding them once you start avoiding things uh, you are not going anywhere you know head on you say 10 people are coming to hit me okay stand there and you know if out of 10 people if you even <laughs> tackle one guy one bad guy then also this is called strength and going above your limitations you will suddenly get help help from god with the sacred mantra mercury embarked on a journey of self discovery and transformation as he repeated om vakra tundaya ham with devotion and focus he felt a profound shift within his mind once troubled by vastness and ambiguity of pisces began to see the beauty in depth and complexity he learned to convey message that resonated with the hearts and souls of others bridging the gap between logic and intuition mind and spirit Thus, the story of debilitation on Pisces under the watchful eye of Jupiter, with the intervention of Lord Ganesha, became a tale of overcoming adversity through wisdom, adaptability, and understanding that every weakness hides a potential for growth. It reminded all beings, celestial and earthly, like that challenges are but opportunities in disguise, leading to greater wisdom and enlightenment. There is one very good uh, teacher. of uh, a very important very difficult services he says that unless and until someone does not insult you unless and until life does not insult you 
unless and until you are into a situation where challenges are so bad that you are supposed to die till that time you do not know how to fight for it and only insult in the world can make you powerful because then you want to take revenge and that revenge comes from your success rohit ji what do you say akash ji one thing i want to say as you correlate mercury with ganesh ji one very uh, you know uh, serious thing i was thinking that these all nine planets are the cabinet minister we always say these are the minister they take all decisions but no they are the state ministers cabinet minister is above them like buddh is a state minister for his post but actually ganesha ji is ruling if buddh is going debilitated is mercury going going debilitated then you go and pray for ganesh ji ganesha and and in same way you say start from sunday now who is the sun lakshmi uh, we say surya narayan bhagwan narayan cabinet minister is narayan ji moon who is moon state minister uh, uh, shiv ji always have a moon on his head you see for all the uh, seven days and nine planets they have one cabinet minister yes right above them yeah so very beautifully you correlate this thing i was i am very happy because i was correlating this two yeah no ruj ji uh, this is what uh, you know the, this is the benefit of the class also i am going to be telling lot of stories and make sure that everyone understands the real meaning hmm yeah ruj ji yes and the real meaning of the stories you will understand when you will sit with akash ji and the time has come for those who want to learn astrology in scientific manner in the manner from he teaches you in videos from stories shastras all you will get from 9th of march batch starting from 9th of march enrollment already started so this is the time for you also to enroll send your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number team will contact you and brief you everything about this class so most welcome thank you rohit ji uh, let's move to uh, uh, 12 ascendants and how uh this mercury uh, debilitated is placed uh here so mercury is going to be debilitated in the 12th house 12th house is right now occupied by rahu as well so rahu and mercury will be here together sun is also going to enter this house this month only but we are talking about only mercury and the effects of mercury right now mercury is debilitated this house may indicate challenge in communication with siblings difficulties in competitive environments why Ruji, how is twelfth house related to siblings? Tell me why I am telling you this. Twelfth house related to siblings. Uh, this is again a very tough thing to tell because you see here, Mercury and... is the owner of the third house that is related to siblings, and the sixth oh. house that is related to difficult in competitive environments mm -hmm. or issues related to health and debt. However. this is the time to overcome these problems as well because it is going to signify spiritual growth through communication and learning as well 12th house is the house of hidden enemies as well when mercury is debilitated hidden enemies have the power to you know attack you in any aspect of your life so here that hidden enemy can come from your workplace can come from you know your friend circle because third house is also the house of friends mercury also in the influence of rahu a little bit it will be illusion like there will be a lot of illusion around it so what you have to do during this time om vakra tundaye hum one small mantra which will give more power to mercury to your elements and the aura around you and you will also benefit from the uh, from you know uh, mercury during this time mercury on the other hand which is putting an exalted aspect on the 6th house that means it has the power to remove health problems debt problem as well as problems related to your uh, uh, enemies in it is also making a vipreet raj yog and getting into debilitation so there is so many layers here mercury during this time the only thing that i would suggest is that not to overcome it not to overcome it to your siblings to your workplace secondly if there is any kind of opportunity that uh, you are looking for in a foreign country uh, revise maybe you know just go and listen to the communication that happened between you and the other person many people i see that they buy work permit and i don't know what all things are happening in the world so if that is the situation where you are investing a lot of money in a foreign country you should just think about you know what you are supposed to get out of it because it can be a loss venture as well 
So we have to be careful in that area. There's a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. If you want to go there, take that. You're welcome. We will discuss about your chart in detail. But uh, all the best. Mercury transit into Pisces, 7th March till, you know, 27th of March, 26th of March. It is the time when especially the 11th house will be affected for Taurus ascendant people. Now, this is the house of investments, incomes, the investment from income, sorry. And, you know, it can create misunderstandings in friendships because it is the planet of communication. It is going debilitated. Money-wise, you know, there can be some kind of challenge because it is the second house lord going into the uh, 11th house and getting debilitated. But it is also a positive sign because Mercury here aspects the fifth house, which is encourage creative expression in unique ways, especially through spiritual, charitable, humanitarian, uh, you know, projects. Education wise, if you are trying to learn something, if you're trying to get some get somewhere, if you're if your children are struggling in some area, they may get benefit during this time. Eleventh house is the house of higher goals. So during this time, it is not advised from 7th to 26th of March not to make any bigger goals because Mercury will be under influence of, uh, you know, Rahu. And during this time, if you make goals, it will all be illusion in your mind. You will not be able to achieve it. So honestly, it is required that during this time, stay calm, relax and make sure that you focus more on education side, creativity side, skill development side rather than commitment to your friends, rather than commitment to your social circle or, you know, written communication or uh, any kind of written communication is Mercury, by the way, because third house is ruled by Mercury. Any kind of written communication where you put something and cannot take it back, like you have to you feel some angry on someone, you write a mail or something, it will, you will never ever be able to come back. So in that area, you should be working towards your own self. So this is what is happening when Mercury becomes debilitated in Pisces, 7th of March onwards. All the best. And I hope that uh, this brings you great news. There is a WhatsApp link in the description. But do subscribe so that, you know, we can be a part of each other. And uh, we cover every transit. So you will be able to see how it is going on in pattern with your chart. For Gemini Ascendant people, Mercury is going to be in the 10th house, especially very important house of career, of you know anything related to power, career, your uh, you know work, work, as well as your karma. The bigger level word of this house is karma. Karma is in every aspect of your life, not only workplace. Now here, this might bring challenges in career and reputation because it is the time that communication-wise, there can be some misunderstandings that can happen at your workplace or with authority figures, someone who's in power. You can have some kind of different... Com and, you know, your intention or motive will not be that. But because Rahu is sitting here, so your intention or motive, you know, on the side, it will just try to play because Rahu, you know, try to manipulate someone who's sitting with them. And this is the house of Pisces. You know, here, Mercury is an enemy of uh, um, Jupiter. But what happens is that Rahu says, oh, you are in this house. Why are you doing this? Like, let's show more power. Do this. Don't worry. He's your enemy. Let's destroy this house together. This is the kind of nature that they can have. Because Rahu is a Chayagra and it is a demon planet. You have to remember. It is the planet of Kali Yuga, Rahu. To give you material wealth. But that is not is what required, man. Everything that is required is spiritual wealth. So during this time, make sure that, you know, be a little bit of conservative in your expressions to higher authority. That is any type of your bosses or your um, or people who actually are uh, in contracts. Now, here, on the other hand, because Mercury is aspecting the fourth house, which is ruled by Mercury, Kendra Lord in the Kendra, debilitation also it makes a Rajyog. This Rajyog leads to some kind of property buying, some kind of, uh, you know, vehicle buying, some kind of thing that is related to expenses in the house, some good news from the mother's side, from good news from your, uh, you know, father-in-law side. Now, why this is the house of father-in-law? Tell me. Which house? Huh? Which house? Fourth house is the house of father-in-law. Why? Why this is a house of father-in-law? Yes. Because of... Uh, uh... Husband's house from from husband's house in wife's tenth from the tenth, tenth, tenth from the uh, seventh. seventh house. That's seventh. why this is the house of father-in-law. Mm, this is a 
this is relationship and bhavat bhavam concept you are you know very clear in this you immediately get this thing and i have to make so many calculations and think about this thing yeah. so 10th house is the house of uh, father in law and 7th house is the house of mother in law because it is fourth from the oh, sorry 10th house is the house of mother in law because it is fourth from the 7th fourth from 7th yeah okay so this is how it is seen if you want to see a younger sister how will you see you know younger third sister the, younger sister yeah no younger sister in law or sister sister your own sister if you want to see if you don't have her chart details third house third third from mercury whatever the sign is that will be for your younger sister to understand about third house third house is okay third house is for your younger siblings they are but if you want to see what is happening with my younger sibling is any problem so third from the mercury third from mercury and younger brother third from uh 1 2 3 third from mars third from mars for your elder sister venus uh, uh 11th from venus oh very beautiful this is a video we can make this is a new concept i yeah. learned yeah. in anyways so here uh, those who are in, uh, uh, in the home area there will be lot of happiness that will happen there mercury will put the exalted aspect as well right it has to give you good results all the best have a great uh, uh, you know mercury transit there is a whatsapp in the description as well as if you want to subscribe it will be very very positive and there is one good news also with rohit ji we want to tell you good news is this that uh, you know in video also as akash ji told so many concepts which i ever not learned and read anywhere so this is the way of his astrology he do astrology very practically so if you want to learn his way of astrology this is opportunity for you astrology for beginners course starting from 9th of march 2024 enrollment is already started if you want to join anywhere from world you have to just send your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number and you will be part of this astrology group enrollment already started so ji moving on to cancer ascendant now for cancer ascendant people mercury is the lord of the third house and the lord of the 12th house so it is not very very pleasant um, you know it is also enemy enemy sign like moon does not consider anyone enemy but it has given two difficult places to mercury mercury will be in the destiny house bhagyasthan now those people who are into higher education higher learning there can be some kind of problem in that higher learning or <laughs> some people also become nastik during this time because whenever rahu and mercury are together your mind will be afflicted by illusion mercury is the mind moon is the mind mercury is also the intelligence in your mind okay that intelligence may have little bit of darkness chaya of rahu and that is where you know your spiritual beliefs can be little bit shaken you may feel that there is no god man all this is foolishness because you will be your destiny will not be working for you during this time and this can question your faith that i am i right am i into this kind of area but because this is the also the rahu is the planet that really really plays with your intuition it can enhance your intuitive learning and teaching methods there can be very unexplored teaching methods that you can do if you are into in the field of higher education teaching or learning also it's not about only ninth house is learning also so if you are into any kind of area where you are learning something very unorthodox way you can learn things so very positive in terms of in terms of looking at the aspect of mercury going on the uh, third house this is the time that you may benefit from your younger siblings there can be some good news that can come from your younger siblings or your friends or your social uh, social circle on the other hand this is also possibility that personal interest any people who have a lot of personal interest to do start something new or that that can be some kind of idea that can go through but just focus or just delay till 26th of march because this is when mercury will become normal you know it will go into aries sign then you can just take that action in the end 26th 27th you can take that action of uh, starting something new Ninth house is also the house of father. Mercury coming here has a difficult relationship with his father. You can also turn into a difficult relationship. You can also have a difficult relationship with your father. So very very careful. Ninth house, tenth house, father. Fourth house, fifth house, mother. Yeah, very careful during this time with father or fatherly figures or teachers or mentors or business owners. Or business owner means your bosses. You know this is the house of 
mentors basically so we have to be careful in communication with them that they do not utter any nonsense and then have little bit of backlash okay so this is what is happening very simple video very normal things that is going to happen we have we have to be quiet and written communication should be avoided during this time whatsapp link is in the description for personal appointment there is a new course that is coming you can join you can whatsapp and we can discuss and do subscribe leo ascendant so mercury is transiting into pisces into the 8th house now here roji mercury is a very important planet for leo ascendant people second house owner 11th house owner uh, in the 8th house that means it has gone into lot of uh, you know it, it has gone very deep into your uh, destiny 8th house now what happens is that because it is the house that is related to joint finances any gains from partnerships anything that has to do with inheritances or anything that has to do with intimate communication that means you love someone your loved ones your wife your girlfriend your partner intimacy problem in that area remember mercury is a important planet like in the celestial system mercury has been given the status of an importance eunuch eunuch means uh, someone who has no gender it has neither male neither female and in many charts if you see when mercury and jupiter will be aspecting each other in navamsha or maybe together or maybe some combinations are there where it can make you into a little bit of different preference that is into lgbtq plus you can have preferences towards other people like uh, like same sex that is what mercury does because it has to take a revenge with jupiter saying that jupiter cursed him so when moon impregnated matara it was a celestial event right? it was not nothing bad it was supposed to happen because only the energy of moon could have made a person like mercury jupiter could not have so when he impregnated and when mercury was in the stomach i think jupiter cursed uh, matara that the person that is going to be born i will accept him but he will be neither male neither female and that is how jupiter in the celestial system in all the books written by vv raman in uh, hora shastra everywhere it is called as a eunuch planet it does not have any kind of gender that's why if you see in india there is a very big practice that on wednesdays all the kinners that means all the people who are uh, who are who have no gender identity transgenders transgenders they come on the street and they beg and on wednesdays they wear green sari green clothes and they beg and you know we give them some money or some sweets and stuff like that because they are the mer real mercuries in the world so there is another remedy here if you have any friend who is in lgbtq plus anyone who has a mer strong mercury you have to make sure that you be very nice to them don't make fun of them in fact support them guide them try to be friends with them that will make your mercury more stronger this is a real life logical remedy now here also there is a problem that uh, huh, there is one good news here when mercury goes into the 8th house it is the house of deep transformation because here rahu is sitting and rahu will give power to mercury to for you to transform to research and historic studies something that is not expected by you to be done suddenly you will find a piece of art that will make you very enlightened during this time i am also leo ascendant so i'm still waiting for it now whenever mercury debilitates wealth wise it is going to be a very positive sign for all the leo ascendant people remember this very nice wealth is going to come because mercury debilitated here puts an exalted aspect on its own sign in the second house and how will the wealth come the wealth will come through career why because from the 11th house mercury sitting 10th from itself so from career something money will come to you in some way or the other that means promotion and everything can be expected during this time all the best another thing is when mercury is uh, here and second house aspect it does uh, you will be speaking a lot during this time but be make sure that do not speak without proper research otherwise you will get trapped what will happen is that suddenly someone will point you and then you will say oh what the hell did i say it was not right and you will don't try to boast yourself during this time only what you know say that this is disclaimer man this is what the research says i don't have any personal opinion in these areas so in any area in your work area in your family area don't go to get to judgments very quickly just take time okay 
all the best there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments if you go to the description you click it you will automatically come on whatsapp and you can talk and book an appointment and there is a new course that is starting from 9th i think only seven people seven or eight people are left now to join then i will close it so those who want to join good those who does not want to join can enjoy our videos and subscribe for virgo ascendant people roji now lagna lord the lord of the ascendant and the lord of the 10th house career lord goes from the 10th house goes 10th and becomes debilitated from the lagna goes to 7th and becomes debilitated what does this mean both the things are indicating to status both are indicating to your current status and this is the time that it may cause misunderstandings in partnerships both business and personal you have to have the ability and patience to overcome it during this time now this is the time that if any mishap happens any problem happens it will give you an encourage a partnership that focuses on healing spirituality or the arts that means you will have that kind of spiritual see rahu is in revati nakshatra we have to remember this also revati nakshatra is also mercury's nakshatra mercury is not in revati nakshatra but rahu is acting as a mercury and jupiter combined at the moment but over smart one but still the possibility of nurturing is there because the pushan devta who is the owner of uh, who is the deity of uh, uh, revati nakshatra has the ability to nurture you so that nurturing is there that nurturing capability is in mercury during this time mercury aspecting your lagna will make you very very ambitious very very confident very very uh, positive also during this time so for virgo ascendant people because of the raj yog that is lagna lord in the 7th house and a kendra lord in the kendra because of this raj yog this debilitated does not make a very big difference but still you have to be careful in misunderstandings there can be some communication which you will hear in a different way or you can make it and other person may hear it in a different way that is the area that you have to be careful especially with spouse and business second seventh house is also the house of your desires and your sexuality there can be some compromise in this time during this period you may feel some face some problem in a positive note those who are in in any kind of area related to court cases anything to do with law and order you can have some very good news maybe some win maybe suddenly there will be something in your favor and you will win that uh, thing during this time so all the best for all the work wise and people during this time do om vakra tundaya ham in the beginning of the video go and see why this mantra is so important how it enlightened mercury so who if if can enlighten a planet like mercury it can enlighten you as well so do that it will be very positive there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments click on it and you will be able to come and discuss your chart as well as there is a astrology course which i am doing uh for 12 uh, 12 classes 6 weeks one and half hours each in english we'll be starting on 9th of march i'm thinking to delay it for by one week but let's see but yeah because my time is changing from 10th of march the time mm -hmm. saving is uh, changing so we will see how it goes but uh, positively uh, all the best for everyone who is watching the video and do subscribe uh libra ascendant people so for libra ascendant people mercury will be debilitated in the 6th house it is a very important house it is the house of your health your death your challenges obstacles workplace legal troubles anything to do with major bigger health problems where it is gets debilitated but on the other hand it makes a rajyog also that is a vipreet rajyog 12th house lord in the 6th house debilitated now here those who are into profession that are related to healing spirituality very good time for them very very good time for them those who are into profession that includes travel travel agency and stuff like that little bit challenge or slow life for them because see it is the 9th house lord in the 6th house sitting 10th from itself debilitated it's in the career area those who are related to travel teaching mentorships life coaches insurance not insurance what no insurance also insurance uh and uh, you know what we say little bit slow month march is going to be 7th march to 26th march is going to be slow but you will be able to pace up because you have to understand always that the 7th 
uh, placement of the planet of Jupiter in the seventh house right now is aspecting the eleventh house, and a lot of gains is happening. Okay, so all the best. Uh, during this time, do a lot of puja, a lot of puja related to, uh, you know, Ganesh ji. Om Vakra Tundaya Ham. This is the mantra that when Mercury was debilitated, it used to invoke the energy of Ganesha and get enlightenment during this time. So this is the energy that you should use. Om Vakra Tundaya Ham. In the beginning of the video, there is a complete description about it. Why, how, when, and you will be able to understand. Health-wise, be careful. Okay, nothing. Mercury is the planet that actually, if you see, rules your. Uh, all the mouth area so there can be mouth ulcers trouble in dental problems skin problems during this time rahu and mercury together do not do any botox any boob job any lifting any tummy tuck nothing at all if there is any surgery just delay it i see this is very common nowadays i don't even feel very uh, you know reserved to say all this because i do consultations they're saying i am doing this job that job uh, i did one consultation with a girl rohiji uh, 27 surgery she is just 31 years old 27 surgery she has done on lips on eyebrows and eyes and for oh, chin oh, and yeah and she's and, uh, she's beautiful which planet, which planet is forcing her to do mercury, so mercury in the 8th house aspected by mars in from the 2nd house oh my god and uh, rohiji she is a doctor by the way Oh. I am born on uh, 3rd of uh, uh, I am born on 3rd of March She is born on 4th of March No, you are born on 4th of March oh, Sorry, I am born on 4th of March She is born on 3rd of March oh. 27 surgeries And she looks more beautiful now I don't know, she was looking okay only mm. Lips, eyes uh, let's say uh, eyebrows, uh, this what you say, uh, jaw, breast, that uh, the backside, the uh, tummy tuck, what all she could do, everything she has done. She's like nine times, so she has done lips only. I told mm -hmm. her, what are you, what are you going to prove? Everything in this body is going to stay here on this earth only. Oh, yes, you have an opportunity to do this hair transplant. You uh, immediately, you know, uh, say no. Uh, I will go with the nature, whatever nature yeah. has given yeah. me. Anyone well. has to love me. They have to love me like this only, without <laughs> <laughs> without hair. <laughs> Anyways, all the best. Uh, uh, because Mercury is aspecting the twelfth house, there is going to be spiritual bliss as well. You will be spiritually very active. There will be some expenses during this time on your health, or maybe you know for some betterment. Maybe you take up some new health plan or maybe you take up some new uh, you know service like yoga meditation stuff like that there you can spend some money which is going to be a very good purpose so it is a very positive time in many aspects little bit of challenge in the aspects related to health death and conflicts okay so be careful in that area and do subscribe man you are the my best ascendant i think this time i should get all the libra people to subscribe i think i need at least 3,000 Libra people must watch this video. So I think 2,000 people already must subscribe now. 1,000 have subscribed. All the best. Moving on to Scorpio Ascendant. Now here in the 5th house, Roiji. Now 5th house is the house specially related to romance. Now this, when I was doing a little bit deep study, Roiji, I thought that is romance, romance, what we talk about this house is very surface level. This is the house of love. Mm. This is the house of unconditional love. And why is that? You know, Because of children. So you have your children, your children, you don't have money in your pocket. Your children says, I need a cycle. What happens is that your unconditional love start to come out and you will say, no matter what, I want to give my child a cycle. Mm -hmm. So this is the house of unconditional love. That is why this is the and only unconditional love can be done to a children or a wife or a husband or things like that. Because if my wife says that I want the airports, I will not say, oh, you are, how, why will I give you airports? It is $300. I will say, mm -hmm. okay, I will get you an airport. Because it is unconditional love. There is no condition here that, okay, it is my money. Why should I give you and this and that? That is why this is the house of romance. So we have to go deep into astrology, not understand surface level that, okay, this is the house of romance and uh, children. Why? The reason is unconditional love. That is why this is also the house of fame and name. 
because when people start unconditionally accepting you you get name and fame now this could lead some difficulties or communication problems in romance area in the love life area in children area or in speculative investments now again what is speculative investment roji unconditional investment there is no condition you can either lose either gain so this house that's why when i was reading a very secret book i have no one has in this world written in 1700s by a gora guy about vedic astrology what insights this person has i don't want to share it also <laughs> very secret it is he wrote that this is the house of unconditional love unconditional things in life comes from the fifth house that is where speculative investments also come so in share market money should be not invested in education money should be not invested during this time in your love life or engagement or you know things like that things should be not invested you know during this time what you should do is make goals communicate with yourself go deep into yourself write goals that this is what i need to achieve this is what i need to do start networking during this time go big net go your network because mercury is putting an exalted aspect on the 11th house let's use the 11th house energy make sure that you network during this period make talk to a lot of people don't share ideas during this time just talk that hey how is it going this that okay nice what are you up to don't say what are you are up to ask what are they up to and try to get that feeling from them this is what should be done now is if anything related to creativity or anything related to spiritual education this is the right time because this is what mercury also did when it was in this deep ocean of pisces it went into more of creative and spiritual education that you know i need to find solitude i need to find happiness even in the darkest place in the world where i am debilitated and for that there is one small mantra it is called om what was it roji i forgot om i hum Om Vakar Tundai Ham. Oh, oh, Om Vakar Tundai Ham. I I said Om Bhagwat Om Nam Bhagwat Vasudeva. I am going to say that <laughs> because I do that mantra chanting every day. Om Vakar Tundai Ham. That is the mantra that is related to Ganesh Ji's one teeth. Om Vakar Tundai means one the most wisdom oriented person only when one teeth is Lord Ganesh, and he has given his boon to. mercury that even in debilitation if you want spiritual education you will get it and that will be the most positive outcome of your debilitation okay so all the best uh, all the scorpio sun and people there is a whatsapp link in the description there is another thing which i want to discuss is that there is a uh, there is a class astrology class special in english i'm going to be taking from 9th of uh, march onwards uh, i have seven or eight seven six or seven spots left if you want to join good you can again whatsapp here and ask about the course and uh, all the best man uh, may this uh, transit enlighten your spirituality uh, spiritual education wise you have abundance during this time but investment speculative investment for sure because rahu is here your mind can go crazy no speculative investments let mercury go from here then do speculative investments because rahu is um, honestly gives you spec gains in speculative investment but not with mercury debilitated here okay gains lord is debilitated how will you gain Eight thousand lord is debilitated. How will you gain? You know, so careful. Sagittarius ascendant. For Sagittarius ascendant people, Mercury is transiting into Pisces. Now here it is transiting into the fourth house, seventh of March till twenty sixth of March this month. What does this mean? That fourth house is the house that where your emotional security is supposed to be taking place. It may indicate communication issues within family or discomfort at home. This is what is being happening. Your mind will not be happy at home. positively this is a time when rahu is also not in good uh, you know it, it is in fourth house in good nakshatra no problem but rahu in the fourth house disturbs the fourth house that means this is the time for you to do a small pilgrimage maybe go to a some of a very nice place where you can find spirituality or go for a, some retreat or something if you time allows or if your pocket allows go for some retreat go for some kind of higher education go for some kind of uh, area where you know you can spend little money on education this is the time it encourages it will encourage this time will encourage you to find peace and spirituality within the home environment it will it will encourage you but you will not be able to do it for that you will have to go out to understand the value of your home sometimes we say oh our parents are what is they they don't know anything this and that then cut to you go to a foreign country you land in a foreign country you go and the first meal that you are cooking you will understand all the importance of your parents 
and the comfort of your house. So as this is exactly the same kind of placement that has happened. Mercury is not comfortable here. As soon as you go out of here, you will understand that, oh, I was so comfortable. I really needed this. This is what you, you, you it will encourage you to find peace and spirituality within this home environment. Those people who are supposed to buy any property, any, any vehicle, anything like that, depending on your dasha, antadasha, and pratyanta dasha, you should take not take a decision of buying anything during this time. It can create a little bit challenge. Now, Ketu and uh, Mercury are very good friends, by the way. And Ketu is sitting in the house of Mercury. Why Ketu and Mercury have a similarity? Tell me, Rohit. Ketu and Mercury have similarity. Why? Ketu is a spiritual planet and... Uh, no, uh, you want to say that uh, Ketu and Mercury has a similarity. similarity. Both give uh, knowledge. No, this is what you have surface level astrology and deep level both have the same deity that is lord ganesha both have the same day yeah we have to go in deep depth why ketu and mercury are alike because they both have the same deity lord ganesha lord ganesha also does not have head ketu does not have head so when you pray ganesha you can make uh, both planet good at exactly see. both planet gate that means you will take mindless why is it said that ketu can uh, if you ketu is in the first house you take headless decisions because ketu is the planet does does not have head mm. and what is inside the head is buddh okay so if you pray to lord ganesha ketu and um, uh, mercury both are sorted then mm. anyways i want to say so many things but uh, people will say now you go off the topic and this and that. I don't care about them, by the way, because I my uh, it is. This is very important because making video only and telling Mercury doing this is that. This is not our aim. Our aim is to go in depth and tell in depth. Those people who say that I go off the topic, I mute them at all. Like no <laughs> need, no need of them here if they think I go off topic, because I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to explore this. You know, nothing nothing wrong in it. Anyways. This is a gems of astrology which you read, you research and you share with everyone. People should appreciate this thing. Everyone has their own motive, right? Mm -hmm. However, Ruji, whenever Mercury is looking in the 10th house, it will also enhance, because it is an exalted aspect, it will enhance your career area. That is another challenge. In your career area, you will be so occupied, so motivated, so doing well that there will be little bit of discomfort in the family and the home life that is another scenario here and completely depends on your dasha antar dasha pratyantar dasha and so on but here still whatever period you are going through 25 percent of effects of mercury has to come on you because transits are very important so what has to be done here in the home area no construction in the home area no buying of new property in the home area or in your life nothing related to mother any surgery that mother is going through anything that is has to be taken in uh, decision you have to avoid it during this time from 7th of march till 26th of march just delay it say okay no we'll do it after this time because this is where the problem can occur otherwise uh, all the best. Uh, let's hope that this brings you a lot of happiness, joy during this time and maybe a lot of spirituality within the home environment is invoked. There is a WhatsApp link. Go down, click it. You will come on the WhatsApp and you can discuss. You don't even have to note the number and do WhatsApp. You can easily come and talk to us. Uh, there is a new course that is coming. I have seven or six or seven. I don't know. I don't remember. Samantha knows. Six or seven spots. She said, sir, it is going filling. There are a few people who have not been added to the group also because OG, everyone wants privacy things also. Mm -hmm. so there will be some people who will be hidden. They will not even show their face. It's okay. It is up to them. So uh, if that is the case. Uh, anyone can join the course. It is going to be in English and it will be from 9th of March. It is going to be one, one and a half hour, almost two hours sometimes. So all the best. Capricorn Ascendant, Roiji, one of the best ascendants in the world. Always crying, always want milk, always crying again, then want to sleep, then crying, then milk. This is what is happening in my life. This is the time then she's going to have challenges with uh, Capricorn Ascendant is going to have challenge with siblings. Younger siblings, so there is no problem. Younger siblings, little bit challenging communication from through or from younger siblings. 
there can be some kind of challenge in fact short travels or short distance journeys may also not be very fruitful during this time but if there is a long distance journey or pilgrimage anything that has to do with the spiritual journey anything that has to do with higher education journey very nice for you if you are thinking of going for higher education or you were thinking that okay my uh, thing starts in april i will go end of march you can go now only because it is a good time you will be happy in a foreign country in a foreign place in a different culture you will be happy during this time third house is the house of your personal interest as well during this time you will personally not be interested it is also the house of written communication during this time major written communication should not be done no signing of contract should be done during this time because it can cause delays or again challenges in that area you will have to do extreme hard work to fulfill it when mercury is here and if you make a commitment during this time so this time is to lay low relax shanti and just be spiritually active because your mercury is looking at the ninth your destiny will be working for you you will get opportunities now you have to choose that which opportunity how deal how much you can delay that opportunity so that you can reach the benchmark of 26th of march and 27th of march take an action you know there is one very important video roj ji i am going to make i am not telling here right now but it is very very important related to mercury and uh, this time especially in this time only we will discuss this surprise video for all surprise i am doing one small research point is left but that is done i will do it so it will enhance your creative and intuitive communication skills so make sure in that area take lot of advantage in that area go within yourself communicate with yourself before communicating something else to other sometimes people are say hey, are you ready for this job yeah yeah i am ready you don't know the pros and cons you just say i am ready but you say okay uh, what is the job ask questions during this time don't give the judgment or don't give the answers ask questions this is what is required There's a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. Go there, click it. Come on WhatsApp. We can discuss your chart in detail. And there is a course which I am running where I'll be discussing a lot of things. So, uh, uh, the course, forget it now. Those who want to join, they can do WhatsApp link. There is a beginning of the video. There is a very important um, uh, story of Mercury. If you go there, understand that you will understand more things about Mercury. Why it is connected to Lord Ganesha? Why it is uh, uh, debilitated in this sign and so on. All the rest. Aquarius ascendant people. Now, when we talk about Aquarius ascendant, Mercury is the lord of the eighth house, Roji, and Mercury is also the lord of the fifth house. Now, for Aquarius ascendant people, Mercury is the planet that can give you lottery because there is a connection between fifth house and the bond. The, the both their lord is same. Now, here in the second house, this is the house of speech, and Rahu is already here. This is the house of your verbal commitment. it may cause speech or financial issues but also encourage unique ways of earning because it is looking at the eighth house your research will be so awesome during this time that you will be able to earn some kind of very unconventional and you know unique earnings that can happen because in this chart mercury has to give you wealth it is the fifth house lord in the eighth house sudden wealth mercury has to give but sudden spending of wealth also can be happening when mercury is debilitated here so what should we do during this time verbal commitment for example a friend of your calls you to his house say i have a presentation ready now i you know this is the financial model you should invest here you say yes yes man i am investing man here this is not what you should do during this time you say okay you know what this is good let me come back to you and think about it till 26th of march and then take a decision because mercury will come into the third house this is the time you can do written commitment no problem but not right now okay this is what astrology is it is just a light on the tunnel to see that what should we do what should we not do second house house of family also house of family family wise be careful during this time no communication which which can create trouble or you have to be quiet listen this is the time of listening i last last year i made this video when mercury was debilitated i told them mon vrat is your ultimate tool during this time be quiet another thing this is the house which rules your mouth your teeth dental thing mercury is the planet that rules dental things your eyes as well you, there can be some infection in the eyes there can be some mouth problem ulcers trouble struggle some blood some kind of mouth disease root canals i don't know what not 
everything related to mouth can happen during this time everything related to skin can happen during this time skin rashes some allergic reactions rahu is sitting with mercury poison and food poisoning skin poisoning alcohol poisoning because it is aspecting the 8th house ketu sitting in the 8th house so what is you know this is the time to make sure your habits become nice in a good way and during this time if you become satvik because ketu in the 8th house so what is the 8th house 8th house is the area from where your extra food which is not required by your body the excretion happens the anal area where ketu is sitting second house is where where you put the food inside your mouth so from second house it start traveling ting 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 third house fourth house fifth house sixth house seventh house eighth house and it completely go out from here so this is that this is the full digestive like from mouth till your excretion this is that map whenever you know ketu uh, rahu will make you encourage you to eat some kind of non veg and you know some kind of exotic things here something which man should not eat and ketu on the other hand will curse you when it is coming out because it will say that oh man why am i into this place where you know i am just feeling all the negative all the bad all the you know what you say processed meat i am getting jabki ketu is a very spiritual planet it needs all the greens in the life and this is the time that from 7th of march to 23rd of march don't take any non veg mm. not even egg because mercury rules the birds and birds lay the eggs and if you take eggs mercury will become more give you more bad effects so aquarius ascendant time to time to turn vegetarian till from 7th of march till 11th of till 26th of uh, march but generally you should all be vegetarian okay, because is it like killing someone eating them for fun not a not a good thing. Uh, you are in the jungle you don't have anything to do it is survival of the fittest you kill a rabbit and eat it no sin at all because there is nothing else in the world what you have to survive right so this is a sacrifice that you do but if you kill because oh butter chicken nice oh mutton tikka oh fish nice nice lovely it's going to bring you you will also become that fish in that plate one day for someone else remember this All the best. There's a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments, and those who are watching the video for the first time, do subscribe. There is a hit subscribe for sure. Aquarius, you are my favorite. Another thing you need to uh, see is that um, there is a astrology course that is going on, and I think seven eight people are left. If you want to join, good, you can immediately join. I think fourth of March is when I end taking anyone, whatever it is, it is, and let's um, see you on the other side if you join. Pisces ascendant people, Roichi. Now here. Again, Kendra Lord in the Kendra, it makes a Rajyog. Three, six, nine, twelve. All the four ascendants. Mercury makes a Rajyog whenever it is in Kendra. Here, Mercury is debilitated in the first house, in the Lagna. What is this house? This house of self-expression. Your mind will not be in the right state to make decisions. So during this time, don't make decisions at all. Just relax. Don't make decisions, big decisions at all. However, this time is also the time. it will give you a compassionate and intuitive approach to life enhancing spiritual and artistic self expression the decision making can be affected but the self expression the you want to come out of that uh, trouble will be highlighted you will be completely focusing on your weaknesses and make it your strength during this time lagna wise when mercury is debilitated again the same effects what happens in the second house in the third fourth fifth every house combined some 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 effects it gives you little bit struggle in you know communication little bit struggle in your health in the skin area little bit struggle with siblings little bit struggles with mother little bit struggles with children with you know your workplace everything all combined because lagna is the combination of all the houses so majorly decision making should be avoided because your mind can be in illusion because of rahu's effect on mercury and you can make a decision which will not be favorable in the future for you so careful but on the other hand partnership wise very good time if you get partners if you get partners partnership opportunities during this time you should grab them not to make a decision till 26th of march but grab them keep them discuss ideas and stuff like that but don't say yes 26 27th of march say yes i am doing partnership okay this is what is the energy during this time if there is any problem between husband and wife or if there is any problem like promotion that is this promotion will come to you 
so a positive type even if it is rajyog but imagine the rajyog planet raja the king like you know roji i saw a story the mughals who ruled in india there were the generation which is now she is a, a sweeper the mughals who ruled her real generation or bloodline is a sweeper in uttar pradesh mm. they ruled whole india one one time so that this is exactly that rajyog where the raja is there the blood royal blood is there but you have no power at all so this time make sure that the power that comes is from your spiritual and artistic self expression nothing else and there is one very good mantra in the beginning i forget that mantra bar bar ho chu om vakratundai nam om vigneshwaraye ham vakratundai ham vakratundai ham Hmm. Om Vakra Tundai Ham. This is my problem. There are so many things on my mind. Hmm. Do that, and uh, uh, there will be a lot of bliss blessings that comes to your way. There is a WhatsApp in the description for personal appointments. And Rohit Ji will tell you about a very very nice thing before going. Nice thing for those uh, those who love astrology, want to learn astrology from very beginning. So this is opportunity for them. Astrology for beginners course starting from 9th of March 2024. Enrollment is already started, and uh, as Akash Ji told you, that only five six spots are left. So we will not, you know, take more than 30 students. So this is a time that you can also enroll. Only few days left. So send your details on the mail ID or the WhatsApp number, and this is the time when you can learn astrology sitting with Akash Ji. from any part of world with stories with so many things he tell and a secret book he don't want to tell even the name of book you will get the name of that book when you will learn astrology from akash so this is a time enroll yourself send your details on the mail id or whatsapp number team will brief you everything about this course thank you rohit ji all the best thank you so much for your service as well in some next video till then jai shri ram jai hind jai mat jai mat